Did you just see those army ants that Steve Baxter was dealing with? Oh, seriously, I don't know how he could he could even look at things like that. But maybe I could uh, ask him, because uh, he's only in the office with us right now! Yeah! Yes, that's right. Steve has wrestled army ants around the world. And now I've returned here to the CBBC office for a segment I like to call... <laughs> Steve versus Wet! So, puny man, give me an issue that I can wrestle with. OK, this week's issue is from Grace from Manchester, who says it's really annoying when her mobile phone stops ringing just as she's about to answer it. Now, I know just what she's talking about. When my mum phones me every day... When my friends phone me every day, I seem to miss the call every time. This is a tricky situation, Grace. So I found that I've made up the three-step program of Steve's How to Answer Your Phone in Three Steps. Step one is the quick fire answer phone method. Observe. <laughs> Hello, it's my good friend Toby. Hello. Uh, well, that was really quick. Yeah, not quick enough though. Step two, rather than even answer the phone, just shout your friend. What do you want, Toby? That that would only work if he's really close, though. That would only work if he's really close. Okay. I thought you said there were three steps. Oh, there are. The third and probably most important phone, step even, is if the phone is ringing. Oh, look, it's Toby. I wrestle it to the ground. You're going down, phone. Ah! Uh, yeah! I think we'll leave yeah! to his conversation with Toby, shall we? No, uh, wait. Because this is your last day in the office. Steve wanted to say goodbye in the only way Steve knows how, with a little help from his friends. Come on up here, guys. Oh, no. yeah. Cheryl Cole. That's da, right, da, Play ping pong with Badu. Aw, thanks, there. Badger. So, here we go with a little ditty we compose for you. Here we go, hit it. This is fun, you should try it. Wow, that was a brilliant Tracy Beaker. Oh, I can't wait to watch next week's one on this lovely comfy sofa in the office. Dan, how many times we won't be here next week? We're leaving, aren't we? Now, will you help me pack? Well, I could help you pack, Jeff, yes. Or instead, we could play... What's in the box? That's right, it's the game show that never really got started. What's in the box? And let's welcome our reigning champion all the way from the Isle of Wight. It's Jefferson Excelsior Tana. Thank you very much. It's great to be back. Thank you. Great to have you back, Jeff. You know the rules. Basically, I asked you some questions, and then we see if you can guess what's in the box. OK, OK, let's go. Now, so far, you've been unsuccessful, but I think this is your week. OK. Now, we're not going to have a specialist subject this week. Instead, it could be anything CBBC related. Oh, Trixie. OK, let's give it a go. All right, Janet, here we go. Yeah. Don't care. If you were to put the presenters of TMI in a lift with the presenters of Sam and Mark's Guide to Dodging Disasters, how many presenters would be in that lift? That's easy. That's... Well, hang on. It's the same presenters. They're both turned by Sam Marks. It's just two. Oh, oh, no pulling the wool over your peepers, Jefferson. You were on fire. Absolutely. All right, question number two. If Barney Harwood from Bamzuki is king, who is the queen? Oh, that'd be Basil. That would be Gemma. Correct! Unbelievable! Wowzers! OK, here's the final round, and we're going to do something different. It's the last ever What's in the Box. We're going to play the physical round. Ooh. Let's get physical. All right, put on your blindfold. This put one? on your blindfold, because for the first time, I'm going to open the box and let you feel what it is, see if you can guess. OK, blindfold on. Okay. For everybody at home, here's What's in the Box. OK. Now, yeah? Yeah, you got it. Um, Oh, uh, yes. Some sort of jug? No. Uh, I'll go for Mike Pichetti from Smart. Is it? Let's have a look. It is Mike Pichetti from Smart. You win. What's in the box? Well what, what, done. What, what, what do I win? What do I win? What do I win? Well, we never thought we'd get that far, so no, nothing. Oh, look, you're wasting time. Let's go and get more boxes. No, no, but I want to play with Mike in the box. Go and get Matt, boxes. Hey, hey, a little help here. I'm stuck in a box. Oh, well. Let's watch Tracy B. CBBC. Bow. Wow, I have not done that for a while. 
Okay, we are now moments away, guys, from back-to-back -back Sarah Jane adventures. We are good to you. In the meantime, you can just watch me fold some of my pants ready for when we leave the office. And Jeff... And Jeff's fast asleep. Jeff fast asleep, me with a basket full of pants. This can mean it's time for the greatest feature that's sweeping the nation. It's time for another very last nap snap. Check it. All right, all I've got to do is just put my pants all over Jeff there. There we go. And my little leopard skin one's there. Wow. Okay, now I just need to take a picture of this and... I don't know where my camera is. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Entertain yourselves. What? What's this? Ah! 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 Dad's pants! Uh, why are they on me? I... Oh. Nap snap. What's that then? Well, hang on. I'm asleep with things on me. Mum sleeping by Grace and Rory. That, that mum and fell asleep. They put things on us, like sheep and things. What, anymore? Charlie sleeping by Chloe from Somerset. I, t Chloe, how could you? Charlie's asleep and you've put an owl, an owl on Charlie. Are there any more? My grandpa by Sebastian in Cornwall. You turned him into a cracker. Okay, that's amazing. I All right, I... I got it. So we'll take a few pictures, then you have to see Sebastian's grandpa. It's probably Dad. the best nap snap we've ever had. Oh, you're awake. What's <laughs> nap snap? Just a little feature that we've been doing every Sunday. It's been the highlight of my Sunday. Oh, it's very, very good. I'm a little sad I haven't been part of it, to be honest. Yeah, well, that was the last ever nap snap. What a way to go out. Thank you so much for your pictures. And as a reward, here's some back-to-back -back Sarah Jane adventures. Huh? Have you got more pictures? Yeah, yeah, come have a look. Did you just see Sarah Jane? Thank goodness the next one's on in a moment. I wouldn't be able to come if I'm... I mean, who's Eve? What's going on? Uh, Dan, Dan, what did you think? What do you think, Dan? What do you incredible, think? Jeff. It's incredible, Jeff. Incredible, Jeff. Yeah. I mean, what does it do? What does it... Are we talking about the same thing? I don't know. What are you talking about? Sarah Jane, what are you talking about? This red button I've just found on the Big Big Cheese's sofa. That's odd. You, you'd have thought we'd have noticed that before. I know. What's I know. it do? I've no idea, mate. I think I'm going to press it. No, wait, 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 wait. What have we learnt about pressing mysterious red buttons in this office? Um, that we should always press them? Here I go. <gasps> no! <laughs> Alert. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Oh! This sofa will self-destruct oh! in five seconds. Five! Name tag! Name tag! Oh! Oh! Four! Sunday! Why have we come back? Oh, Two! One! I love you. Boom! Ha ha, tricked you. Hands up who's got to change their pants now. Ah, seems a bit awkward. Mm hmm. So for tricked us. Looks like it, Jeff, yes. What do you think we should do? Well, Jeff, I think there's only one course of action. We took it back. Mm -hmm. You guys watch uh, Sarah Jane. We'll have a quick chat with the sofa. Mm -hmm. Stupid sofa! Stupid sofa! Scare us with you! Stupid! I will trick you! I will trick you! I will trick you! I will trick you!